Good evening, Joanna. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, hello Karen. Well, we have Joanna Stephanie and also Joanna Alas. And also Karen. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Liliana just got into the class. Hello, Liliana. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. So we're gonna wait a couple of minutes so that everybody can gather in this session. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start, you know, it's important. Let's see, Carol, Carolina is in the class now. Hello, Carolina. Hello, Liliana, well, Liliana is there. Hi, Joanna. good evening. Good evening, welcome. And let us quit a little bit, I mean, a minute more, so that we can start with the activities tonight. Remember that my question will be, hey, what's new in English? What did you learn today? That is the first question in my class. And later, well, if you wanna share the information you got about the, the city, okay? Some people uh, can talk about Moscow, Los Angeles, Brasilia, et cetera. You know, that was humble assignment. So we're gonna take advantage of, of time like we're going to spend like 15 minutes talking about it then i want everybody to be participating actively tonight i do usually do right this group is quiet it's a, a really nice group well we're going to start uh, we're going to start by asking carolina reynosa good evening what did you learn today in english good evening teacher good evening. See, is claims También a lot of, I sure know, or no, algo así, and claiming. Claiming. Sí. Okay, yes. so that's for Kivile, right? Sí. Okay, what about the homework, uh, Carolina, about the city? Did you get the information? Sí. I'm going to talk about the country of Nunavut, Canada. Canada, all right. Yes. In winter, there are 30 days of total darkness, but there are two months where there is sunlight 24 hours a day. His clothing is functional, science in months be adapted to different temperatures. They wear term coats for coats gloves, waterproof boots, thermal suits, hats, and winter air mops. They, um. they have four seasons. December to February is winter. March to May is spring. June to August is summer. 
September to November is autumn. Autumn. Y Nonabud is, is one or a hell of our country. When it is summer, it is two hours country ahead. For example, here is a, a nine o'clock here. Eh, donde ellos, perdón. Eh, ahorita serían 10 p.m. Thank uh, you. Uh, thank you, Carolina. Great info. Right now it's 10 p.m. there. Uh, yeah. Okay, Carolina, did you get, did you get, did you learn a lot of new words uh, when, when studying the information? ¿Aprendió muchas palabras cuando investigó esa, esa uh, información? Like, for example, darkness. What's the meaning of the word darkness? Sí. Y... Eh, oscuridad, noche. Exactly. Right. So I can see that that you have been uh, waterproof? Este, botas de invierno? Yeah, waterproof is... Eh, como te térmicas mm -hmm, o sí. algo así. Uh -huh. Ok, contra el agua o contra la humedad. Ok, también pudiera ser waterproof. Ok, excelente, Carolina. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Liliana, good evening. Liliana Elvira. Good evening, teacher. Tell us, what's new in English? And what today, about the number? Uh, today I learned the word a joke. That uh -huh. the meaning is una broma. Uh, uh, okay. Um, I, can, um, I can use this word in a sentence. For example, my grandfather loves to tell me jokes. And that is the new word I learned today. I learned Excellent. today. Excellent. Show to show. Okay. Fantastic. What about the homework? About the okay. city and the weather. Okay. I read a little bit about the homework, but I read about the the Mexico City. Um in December the weather in Mexico is generally generally warm, but in some cities is cold and other is hot. For example, in Chihuahua, it's cold. And people need to wear a cap, pants, coats, and boots. But in other cities, in other city, like Cancun, people need to wear different gloves because the weather is hot. Like T-shirts, shorts, bikinis, sunglasses, and things like that. I think that the weather is like, it's similar like El Salvador because it depends the city you visit. In others is hot, in others is cold, in others a little warm, I think. And that's it. Okay, thank you, Liliana. Great info. Well, let me see. There, there are some people in the chat, Ligia, Marcela, and Chrissy. Okay, I got your message. Okay, don't worry if you're not able to participate in it tonight. You can do it tomorrow. Okay, no se preocupen si no pueden participar esta noche las tres personas, pero mañana tendrán una nueva oportunidad. Recuerden. Okay, siempre importante eh, la participación es importante. Okay, thank you, Liliana. Now let us listen to Joanna Stephanie. Good evening. Good evening. Um, uh, my home hour is um Australia. Australia is shows a large country that is enjoys many climatic conditions from the head of the desert to the low snowy temperatures of the mountain from abundant rains to the total absence of precipitation. 
there are even areas of the country where up to six climatic season can be identified. That was it, Stephanie? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, so later I will react about uh, uh, about presentations in general, okay? But thanks for, do it, for doing your best, Stefan. Uh, let me see, Joanna. Yeah, Joanna. Okay, it's all right. Oh, I'm sorry to know about your son. Joanna, I hope your son gets better soon. Okay. Jonathan Ulises, go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. My homework is in my, my experience in, in the country of El Salvador. Uh, my, this is my experience in the Soya, Soya Pango City. My what I like in the cities of Soya Pango. It's a very hot city. From seven o'clock the morning, it start to get very hot. We we will cool close to sleep. Sleep. My wife wears a neck neck bone, and I wear a shorts a t shirt. But boots are around four o'clock. When uh when I walk, wake up, it's great, getting really cool. It's wearing a sweater to go to work. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks for doing your best effort. Thank you. Now okay. uh, I will I will make a pause. Just right now, voy a hacer una pausa porque quiero hacer una observación que les va a servir de mucho, ¿ok? Uh, when, when investigating information, cuando vayan a investigar información y encuentren palabritas nuevas, ¿ok? Lo primero hay que aprendérselas, ¿ok? Hay que aprender el significado, pero también hay que asegurarnos cómo se pronuncia. Porque en inglés podemos confundir palabras si las pronunciamos mal. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo uso el verbo where, lo voy a poner en el chat. Where. Where. Okay, ese es el verbo de ponerse ropa, de usar ropa. Okay. El verbo use, voy a aclarar esto antes de, de nada. Use es, es otro verbo diferente a where. El use, usted puede usar herramienta, puede usar la cocina, puede usar otras cosas, pero cuando hablamos de ponernos ropa, usamos wear. Yo uso, I wear a polo shirt, for example. Ok, esa es una. And the next one, if you say queer, queer, okay. if you see this word, if you look for the pronunciation of this word, you will notice that the me the, I mean the word is totally different and also the pronunciation. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, solo estoy usando un ejemplo, ¿ok? Where weird, where imagínense el verbo es where, pero yo digo weird, weird, o sea, si ustedes van y buscan ambas pronunciaciones se van a dar cuenta que los significados son diferentes um, y podemos este dar un mensaje incorrecto. Entonces, cada vez que vayamos, encontramos un verbo, una pa cualquier palabra, ¿ok? Eh, que encontremos, debemos de buscar la pronunciación correcta. ¿Dónde? Bueno, hay enlaces, hay, hay, hay diccionarios, hay este, aplicaciones en donde nosotros podemos confirmar la pronunciación. Porque el problema es que si yo me aprendo la palabra where, por ejemplo, y digo, uh, o, o pienso que la pronunciación es weird, weird, entonces, me la voy a aprender así y me va a costar desaprenderla después. Entonces, mejor no. 
Aprendamos la bien desde un inicio, ¿ok? Now, let's see. Catherine wants to participate. Catherine y Liana. Hi, good evening. Hi. Uh, my homework um, in the city, right? All right. Uh, the temperature in your city is seven degrees in December. This city is my favorite in the world, and my biggest dream is to go to at Christmas because everything is pretty. It's very cold, and that is why people wear coats, boots, gloves, hats, and lots of warm clothes. I would love to be there on Christmas, and I know we'll make it because I achieved what I set out to do. All right. Christmas time. Uh, do you have uh, uh, parents there, or do you, is your family there? Yes. Oh, you're going to have a great time there. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Great info and congratulations. Okay, you're improving daily. Okay, Jose Argueta wants to participate. Hello, Jose. Jose Argueta, do me the favor to activate your microphone because we are not able to listen to you. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, ah, okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening. everybody. Um, I'm investigating. Uh, my homework is the Manchester City. Um, the weather in Manchester uh, is oceanic and is characterized be the mild, cloudy, cloudy summer, while winters are longer, colder, and winter. During the, the year, the weather in Manchester is eh, varieties. The cool season lasts four months from November to March, Hanover. The average tem temperature is less than 10 degrees Celsius, which generally begin the coldest month in the Manchester. In the weather, in the winter, sorry, People wear coats, scarves, sweaters, snowboats, um, <laughs> and wear in rainings. The people use umbrellas, waterproof, and jackets. But the weather, but, the, but, but sorry, but when summer begins, approximately at the end of the June, the, situ the situation changes. People go out to have fun somebody uh, to walk in these squares and the night, night life is also different. In the summer, people wear short t-shirts, tennis, tennis shoes, lip floats, and light clothing. And, and usually, uh, dresses a little warmer, depending on the occasion. The, depending on the occasion. When the now, that the English are people who do not lose their formal style. Wow, great team for Jose. Hey, Jose, what time is it there? Um, nine, it's, it's nine, it's nine seventeen. It's nine seventeen in Manchester City? In Manchester City, no, it's, it's now. Now look for for the I mean look for investigate it now please what's the time there um plus plus eight, 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 eight hours yeah but but do me the favor to investigate it please Jose investigate what's the time there okay okay thank you Jorge Jose hi good evening good evening Today I learned the difference of the word piece and piece. For example, I'm eating a piece of cake and the other piece, I wish peace between Russia and Ukraine is oh, the difference. Fantastic and great, great examples, Jorge Jose. I wonder if you could uh, do the homework about the city. 
Okay. I'm going to tell you about the La Palma city in the department of Chalatenango, here in our country. La Palma is a small city and its residents are very friendly. At this time of year, which are summer, the days are sunny and at the same time are cold. During the day between 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., people wear sweaters. From 5 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next day, the weather becomes much colder and people wear warm coats and hats. So if you like cold weather, this is the right time to visit La Palma in Chalatenango. Okay, what time is it now, uh, Jorge? It's 9.18. It's 9.18, it, it's 9.18, all right, thank you. Thank you, now thank listen, you. thank you. Hey, listen, because of the time, we're gonna ask for volunteers, okay? I need volunteers. If you wanna share the homework with the rest of the group, do it now, because we have a lot of work to do tonight. Volunteers? Uh, well, we have Roxana. Good evening. Okay, Roxana, you can start oh, okay. now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you, Tish. Uh, okay. After Roxana, uh, Sara. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to talk, I'm, not, I'm going to speak uh, about uh, United States and this country has uh, many states but um, in this moment I I talk I will talk in specific uh, Houston because uh, I'm here in Houston yes. um uh, in the world uh, we are in this uh, Christmas system uh, for that reason uh, I see a lot of people in, in this uh, city with uh, sweater, boots, uh, hat, gloves, and um, because the temperature uh, is uh, between uh, 6 and 16 degrees Celsius. Uh, it's, it's very nice because uh, there are a lot of uh, lights and the people is happy. Uh, it's, it's cute. People That's are it. warm, right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Roxana. And the word temperature, okay? Try to temperature. temperature. That's right. It's, Thank you, Roxana. Yes, temperature. Yeah, that's the way it is. Thank you, Roxana. Thanks for sharing such info. Okay. 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 Thank you. Now we're gonna try to finish with the homework activities by listening to Sara Vigagil. Okay, Sara. Okay. Good. Good evening, good evening. everybody. Uh, I choose the country of Canada. Canada is a diverse, tolerant, peaceful, and welcoming nation. Now, for its natural and stunning natural beauty, Canada. Climate is winter. The winter months are December to March. They are characterized by low temperatures. It's usually between 23 and 12 centigrade. centigrade. They wear clothes in the winter in gloves, scrubs, jackets, sweaters, hats, and boots. De, ¿Cómo se dice? La hora eh, son las 10 to 15. It's 10 no. to... Or it's 15 to 10. Uh -huh. Ajá. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sara. <laughs> Thank you, Sam, for sharing okay. such info. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, well, finally, we're going to listen to Lindaura. Then we're going to start with the activities I have prepared for you tonight, okay? Lindaura, go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. En mi actividad, este, va a disculpar que estoy, voy casi de salida, pero igual. Toronto is a city of Canada. In this city 
always is cool, but in winter season it gets even colder. So the eh, persona people people of the Toronto use hat a scarf gloves glove and some person decide to use those pants and the nice they even wear cut because because the temperature go down through Celsius grace. Thank you, Lindaura. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks for being uh, responsible and thanks for doing your best effort. Listen, we're going to try to start. Oh, well, this is not okay. the info I'm going to share. I'm sorry. It's not the info I was going to share. Let me see. I have it here. Okay, so, well, you were we were working uh, with the time yesterday. Okay, we learned how to say the time in English. <clears throat> and right now we're gonna go or we're gonna work a little bit uh, fast. And we we need to um, notice about uh, rising and falling intonation when asking questions in English. Okay, this info is important because um, we need to pay special attention when talking, okay? Or when asking questions, just no questions and open questions or double H question in English. Remember the tense we have been studying lately is present continuous. So let's pay attention because we, if you notice the guy has divided the, um, the, the questions in uh, according to the intonation they have, okay? Rising and falling intonation. And if you notice over here, we have just no questions. And over here, we have double H questions. So let us pay attention. I think the guy's going to explain it better than myself. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about rising and falling intonation in yes or no questions and WH questions. Let's get started by understanding intonation. Pitch is raising and lowering the tone of voice while speaking. The use of pitch is called intonation. Understanding English intonation will increase not only your spoken English competency, but your English comprehension as well. Intonation is used to convey meaning. For example, you have the same set of words in two separate sentences. But in one, the meaning may be different than in the other due to intonation. In this class, we'll focus on yes or no questions and WH questions and how intonation gives meaning. Let's listen and practice. Notice the intonation of yes or no and WH questions. Is she getting up? Are they sleeping? What's she doing? What are they doing? Well, there are many exceptions and rules to follow. In general, we can follow these two simple rules. For yes and no questions, there will be a rising intonation. For example, is she getting up? Are they sleeping? For WH questions, there will be a falling intonation. For example, what's she doing? What are they doing? <clears throat> well, I'm sorry, but I needed to pause it because I need to highlight 
the information the guy has just provided. What is the difference between these questions? Over here we have just no question, right? The answer is yes or the answer is no. Is she getting up? Yes, she is. Are they sleeping? And no, they aren't. Okay, you have only two options, yes or no. But in this one, you have double H question in English, right? So, and that makes the difference when talking about arising and falling intonation, okay? So as you could notice, uh, the pronounce, not the pronunciation, but all, but the, the intonation is different. And you say, is she getting up? What's she doing? Are they sleeping? What are they doing? So, this is important because when you speak, you need to make emphasis or you need to, to, um, to put into practice this falling or rising intonation according to <clears throat> according to the question. Okay, remember, yes no question, rising intonation, double H question, falling intonation. That's everything you need to keep in mind. Okay, now. Why, why um, are they presenting such info? Well, it's because we are in church of working with double H uh, question with present continuous tonight. But before going to that part, we need to uh, practice a little bit about, uh, about falling or rising intonation. Now, you're going to listen to these statements or these questions, and then you are going to tell me if they have falling or Rising intonation, okay? Pay attention, please. Give me a second. Listen. One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? And that's it, right? So can somebody read this question? Rising. No, yeah, but rising but, intonation. The rising intonation? Yeah, but can can somebody help me to read that the question? And put into practice then. The yeah, are you wearing a coat? Excellent. Are you wearing a coat? Fantastic. Now, can somebody help me to read this one? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Uh -huh. doing now? Rising falling. or falling? Falling. 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 Right. Number three, please. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Rising or falling? Falling. 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 Help me with this one. Is, is, is it midnight? midnight? Is it midnight? Is it midnight? Is it midnight? Rising. 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 Number five. What color, what color is his t shirt? His t shirt. Rising or falling? Falling. falling. And the last one. Are, Are you from, from, the from the Thailand? Fantastic. Fantastic. We wow. We now we're going to check it and then we're going to notice if we did it tonight with the falling and uh, rising intonation. Wow. So you can see we got a hundred percent of the activity. Fantastic. Now, now that we have the idea about how to pronounce um, or how to use rising or falling intonation uh, regarding to questions in English, we're going to start talking about present continuous, but mm, in this case, we're going to see it by using double H questions. Well, uh, I will, uh, we're going to see this part, <clears throat> okay? And later, we're going to try to go over some extra information that I have uh, looked for. Listen to it, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask, 
and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make... So, listen, this is a, like a conversation in which you can see, like, the double H questions, okay, that are, in, that are implied in, the, in a conversation. Now, I will make a pause over here because I need to display certain info that I have uh, looked for because I consider it's important to notice about the patterns to follow when talking about questions in present continuous. I mean, double H question. What are we going to have first? Well, we're going to have double H question word, the verb to be, the subject, another verb in the ing form, and a complement. So we have where, what, when, who, why, how. <clears throat> and with all of them, we can create double H questions in present continuum. These double H question words are at the beginning, at the beginning of the sentence. After them, we use we use auxiliary verb and, and subject. We don't use yes or no in the answer. Remember, these are not just yes, no questions. We have questions with where and where replay, refers to uh, or is used to ask questions about a place, right? So where is she living? She's living in New York. Now, uh, place. Place, New York. Where are you meeting your friends? Place. And they say, I'm meeting, I'm meeting them at a school, at a school. At, yeah, at the school is a place. So where, place, what, about something. Where are you, where are you eating? I'm eating fruits, okay? What, fruits. Where are you reading? What, I'm reading a funny book, a funny book is answers to the question what when is a question word that you use to create uh, statements about time when are you meeting your father i'm meeting him at nine when at nine when is she coming home when late today okay who It's a, a, a double H question word to, uh, to create statements about people or about a person. Okay. Who is she talking on the phone? She's talking to her mother. Who? To her mother. Who are they traveling with? They are traveling with Tom. Who? With Tom. Who? Why? You use it to uh, provide information about reason or explanation reason or explanation was she crying why ah she's crying because she lost her toy car that is the reason right why ah, because she lost her toy okay why are we waiting here why because i cannot find my keys all right, and the last one is about how. How is used to provide information about manner and the way to do things. Example, how is Sally singing? How is she singing? What well, she's singing? How? Very well. How are they going to work? How? They're going to work by train. Okay, 
So this is further information that I will share with you in the chat. Alguien que, yo creo que siempre hay alguien que se encarga de compartir los enlaces en el grupo de WhatsApp. Agradeceré que siempre lo hagan para que nadie se quede sin eh, la práctica, ¿ok? O extra práctica. Ok. So you have the, the links in the chat. And well, and we're gonna try to, to practice a little bit. These are questions, WH questions with present continuous. And we have, for example, live and day. When are they living? So that will be the example, right? So and then we have what do you? What's the question here? How do you create a question with those two? Or with, with, with those two uh, words. What you doing? What? You doing? But you are missing something quite important, right? What, what are you doing? Are you yeah, doing? what are? Excellent. What are, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Great. Why? Laugh the girl. Laugh. Esta se pronuncia como F, ¿ok? La U, la G y la H como F. Laugh. Laugh. Uh -huh. Why the girl laugh? Is she? Why is? Because. No, no, but listen. What's Why the... is she? Why is she? Why? Oh, but it says Why the girl, right? Why? Why, Why is the girl? Laughing. What is the girl? girl? Why is she laugh laughing? Is what is she laughing? Or oh, what is what is what is the girl? What is the girl laughing? Why is the girl laughing? Where sleep the cat? Where is where the cat? Where is the cat sleeping? Sleeping. Where is the cat sleeping? Good. Who talk you? Who is you talking? Who is? No, but what is the verb the verb to be? Who are you? 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 How are you traveling? 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 How many cakes? Eat. How many cakes? Eating. It is eating. Is it eating? Eating. Is it eating? And what read I? What, what am I reading? What am I reading? Where, where, where stays she? Where is, where is, she, where is, she, is she, she staying? Where is she staying? Is she is staying? And the last one, how much beer drink how you? Much? Are you drinking? Are you drinking? We're gonna check it. Wow, a hundred percent. You see, no problems with it. Excellent. Pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Now, so over here, I have more information. Have a present continuous, but you know, uh, we are going to be in charge of creating a conversation tomorrow, okay? And in such conversation, we need to include yes, no questions and also double H questions in present continuous. We already know that um, the pattern about double H questions in present continuous, and we have more examples here. I, I have chosen this. Um, link uh, because I could encounter a lot of examples that you can use tomorrow. What are you doing? What are you working on? 
Are you doing anything else or uh, anything later? How are you feeling? Etc. Right? And remember, this is the pattern to follow. Subject, B, and another verb in ing form. So we're going to try to practice, okay? Let's see with this sentence. Con esta oración. We are waiting for a bus. ¿Cuál sería, si usamos la misma información, cómo crearíamos una yes no question con esa, con esa información? Are we waiting for the bus? Okay. Are... Yeah, are we waiting? Are you waiting? It all depends on what you want. No, I, I, it all depends on the context, right? Depende del contexto, okay? Si van a ser we or you. Ambas es posible. Uh, are you waiting for the bus? What's the answer? Possible answer? Yes, we, we are. Yes, we are. Are you waiting for a bus? Yes, we are. Or no, we aren't. What would be the double H question here? Mm. Where are they wait? Where are they wait waiting for the bus? Where are they waiting for a bus? Okay, that would be one option. Where are they waiting for the bus? Uh, waiting the for the bus. The bus. For the bus? Okay, that's another option. But hey, are you waiting for a bus? Yes, we are. Where where are they waiting for the bus? And what would be another option? If we want to require for reason? When? Uh when for reason? The the when is for time, right? Yes. When are they you waiting wait. for the bus? Waiting yeah, for the bus. When are you waiting for a bus? Okay, that's re requiring time. Aha, uh -huh. the one that we need to use to require reason. Why? Why? Aha. Uh -huh. Why? Why are you waiting for the bus? Why are you waiting for a bus? Okay. Now, in the second one or in the third one, we we can we can see. We're gonna do it orally because of the time. Can you please, can you please deactivate microphone, people? I don't know, there's someone. Thank you. Thank you. Now, she's talking to her mom. That's the other example, right? Okay. Just no question. Just no question, people. With this info, why is she talking to her mom? Hey, why is she talking to her mom if she knows that she's so angry just right now? Okay. Uh, just no question. Is she talking for her mom? Is she talking to her mom? Okay, simple like that. Yes, she is or no? She's not. Okay, now, remember, double H questions also are, are called open questions, okay? Where, what, how, and why. And just no questions. And that's it, right. So why did I choose this, this um, pitch? It's because over here, you are going to encounter a lot of examples to be just during a conversation. Okay, so what is something that you're looking forward to? What are you working on uh, these days? 
Are you doing anything later? What are you having for dinner today? Are you seeing your friends any, anytime soon? Etc. So you have lot, lots of examples here. Why? What is the reason? What is the reason? It's because, let me see. Did I share the links? Yes, right. So you have the links. ¿Por qué elegí esta página? Bueno, elegí esta página por la sencilla razón de que aquí tienen muchos ejemplos de o expresiones que pueden utilizar en una conversación. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, eh, nos estamos encaminando a que ustedes creen o ejecuten una conversación. Entonces, um, para el día de mañana yo necesito que ustedes creen una conversación con presente progresivo utilizando yes no questions o double h questions. La pueden crear o la pueden buscar en internet y nada más modificar algunas cosas. El día de mañana van a trabajar en parejas. Si alguien pudiera coordinar, digamos, desde ahora la conversación con alguien en el grupo, lo pueden hacer, pero no es obligación porque el día de mañana, digamos, usted todos traen una conversación. Cuando uh, empiecen a trabajar en pareja, solo se ponen de acuerdo en cuál conversación van a practicar y uh, este, van a tener que 10 o 15 minutos para para aprenderla o para asegurarse de la pronunciación y ya luego decirnoslas acá eh, de manera general. ¿Ok? Eso es para el día de mañana y espero que, pues, ah, tomemos ventaja del tiempo. ¿De acuerdo? No sé si hay preguntas respecto a lo que hemos estudiado esta noche o respecto a la actividad de mañana. Sí, teacher, sola. estaríamos usando el presente progresivo. Exactly, eh, Roxana. Y el presente continuo. Uh, I mean, eh, Roxana y Sara, okay. recuérdense que present continuous, y cuando decimos present continuous, present progressive, es lo mismo, ¿ok? Present progressive y present continuous es lo mismo. Nada más el nombre cambia, pero es exactamente lo mismo, ¿ok? Roxana? Sí, teacher. Okay. okay. Any other question? Carolina? Solo, si, si entendí bien, yo puedo trabajar la conversación yo sola durante el día eh, y mañana cuando nos conectemos, eh, buscar pareja. Sí. Exacto. Eh, cuando, okay. cuando los ponga a trabajar en pareja, Van a, ambos van a, van a compartir la conversación que encontraron o que crearon. Y nada más van a decir cuál de las dos nos van a, nos van a compartir acá de manera general. Ok, gracias. Asegurándonos, por supuesto, o tomando en cuenta lo que, las observaciones que hemos venido discutiendo respecto a la, la fluidez que ya dijimos que la fluidez no es más que tratar de hablar de manera natural, la pronunciación, y ahora estamos, estuvimos viendo la entonación de las preguntas. Entonces, respetando esos tres aspectos, el día de mañana nuestra conversación debe de, de hacer énfasis más que todo en esos puntos, ¿ok? Y lo que siempre les he dicho, pronunciación importante. No more questions. Let me see. I have somebody in the chat. Okay. Uh, Chrissy, okay. Para el día de mañana van a trabajar en una conversación. Okay. Se los digo desde ahora para que busquen algo en el internet, si encuentran una conversación ya creada, eh, pues perfecto. O si le van a, a agregar o le van a quitar algo, lo pueden hacer también. Y pues mmm, el día de mañana van a trabajar en parejas y van a elegir qué conversación nos van a presentar. ¿Ok? Tomando en cuenta los aspectos que ya mencioné.
Okay, no more questions. Eh, tenemos otra tarea, pero esa es un poquito ya para ir cerrando el, el nivel. Ok, ok, Stephanie. Recuérdense que el, el jueves, Dios mediante, tenemos la revisión del examen final y una actividad que ustedes seguramente ya empezaron a, a preparar, ¿verdad? En donde van a ir incluyendo todo o lo más que se pueda de lo que han aprendido en este nivel, ¿ok? Incluyendo, por supuesto, los últimos temas. Ay, qué conveniente. Ok, you're welcome, Chrissy. Now, if you don't have any question, I think we're going to stay here. Let me see if I have something else on here in the, in the, in the platform. So if you have questions, you can ask now, ask now. Well, you can also, as you could notice tonight, we have like this conversation. This would be like an example. Let's try to make sense of present continuous. This can be an context. example, right? Esto pudiera ser un ejemplo de conversación. Okay, por supuesto. Eh, hay que incluir otra conversación, no esta, ¿ok? Porque esta, pues, de alguna manera la vamos a practicar eh, como para ir calentando el día de mañana. ¿Ok? Pero si ustedes notan acá, aquí tenemos eh, Double H Question, pero no tenemos, por ejemplo, Just No Question. Entonces, yo lo que quiero es que incluyan ambas. Okay, so I think we're going to stay here. Uh, Karen? Teacher, y para el jueves es un resumen de todo lo que hemos aprendido. En la actividad es libre, Karen. Usted decide de qué manera nos va a, a compartir aquello más significativo que usted aprendió durante el curso, okay. durante el nivel. Es libre. Si usted dice, bueno, yo voy a hablar durante tres minutos y ahí voy a incluir esto y lo otro, de tal manera mm. que el teacher o que, es, o que también mis compañeros eh, identifiquen algunos de los temas que yo aprendí, entonces perfecto. Si usted decide hacer eso, perfecto. Puede contarnos una historia, eh, se puede coordinar con alguien por ahí eh, y hacer una conversación. O sea, es es la actividad está abierta a lo que ustedes quieran presentar. Ok. Ok. So, I think we're going to stay here. Nos quedamos acá y nos vemos el día de mañana. Good night, people. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Perdón, teacher, yo tuve una emergencia y me salí de la clase, pero me pongo al día. ¿Se ha dejado alguna tarea o algo? Sí, por favor, eh, Maritza. Les decía por ahí a los compañeros que el día de mañana hay, hay una tarea, una conversación en presente progresivo. Que incluya, presente progresivo. Sí, presente progresivo que incluya Preguntas abiertas y preguntas cerradas. Ya sabemos que las cerradas son de sí o no y las abiertas son con las double H question words. Preguntas cerradas. Preguntas cerradas, dice, vea. Sí, just no questions. Ok. Ok. okay. Yo me pongo al día, gracias. Le, le, okay. Perdóneme. Pero no, no, es una no, emergencia. no tenga pena, Maritza. See you tomorrow, Gracias. People. Hasta mañana, bendiciones. Ok, blessings.